Oh, COVID with art. That's been probably the thing that I've relied on most, especially during lockdown. I really think COVID, as odd as this sounds, has made me a better artist. I think so, because it did give me something to do, kind of distract me from just everything that was happening, I guess. And it definitely did help me get through. These young artists have turned the negative of feeling isolation during the pandemic into a positive, not only on a personal level, but their entries into a big statewide art competition called Vase have become a point of pride for their school, Great Hearts Irving in Texas. Three of the school's artists made it to the upper tiers of the prestigious yearly event. It's kind of like the idea is growing from the book and it's developing with um, more thought into something else that's beautiful. Julia Chaplin, a ninth grader, says her inspiration was her love of reading, while Rowan Hoover says it was an abandoned gas station that inspired his photograph, Forgotten But Not Lost. All these truckers would just come into the gas station even though there's nothing in there and they just sit there. So I thought, wow, that was that's really cool because it's not a working gas station, but people still use it. The competition encourages a student's originality, technical expertise, and allows them to produce work that reflects their own ideas. I named it Woodland Child mainly because of the aesthetic that I wanted it to have, kind of like be in the forest and the woods and uh, the childhood aspect of running around, having fun, playing mud type of thing. Now Camilla sells a line of her yeah, quirky dolls on Etsy. Dog. The competition has been a catalyst for so many young artists to pursue their talents and has now grown from just 400 entries in the first year to well over 35,000 entries this year. I think it's great because a lot of schools focus more on STEM now instead of art. And I just think it's really nice that they give us this opportunity, especially this year since we didn't have many things to do. Kim Martinez reporting.